Mom, get off the phone! <sighs> Some people, let me tell you. Ah, shit, I, I can't... What, is it a spaceship? Uh, a penguin? Oh, no, of course. It's the 90s! Do you remember the 90s? I sure do. The 90s were awesome. Possibly the best time in America. You had all this classic nostalgic stuff that you can't find anywhere these days. Man, back in the 90s, you could do anything. The world was at your disposal. You could just complain loud enough and people would do exactly what you want. Like back then, you could literally just shit your own pants and your parents would come over to clean it up. Man, the 90s were the best. So why not hop aboard our white Ford Broncos and take a joyride through history by looking at some 90s games? However, I'm not talking about your Super Mario Worlds or your Dooms or your Final Fantasy 7s. I don't mean games from the 90s. No, 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 that would be a much higher quality list. I'm talking about Android phone games that are themed around kids' things from the 90s. Look out, Dunkaroo Dunking Simulator. I'm coming for you. So when you think about it, what really encapsulates the 90s more than the Rwandan Genocide? I mean, Beanie Babies. You remember these guys, right? Cheap little Chinese manufactured plush toys that had an insane collector's market. And you can still find ones that'll fetch you enough to buy a couple houses. But why were people going nuts about factory produced teddy bears? I don't know. So here's Beanie Balls Bounce, a game that is allegedly from the makers of Beanie Babies. This is apparently an official app from a major toy company. Official my ass. I don't care if they link the Facebook button to the official Thai Facebook page. There is no amount of so-called evidence you could show me that would convince me that this isn't just a plagiaristic puddle of Play Store piss. Now, there's not a whole lot to say about the game. You fall down the four levels while avoiding enemies and collecting things to earn points. It's an inverted doodle jump, I guess. Or rather, an inverted sonic jump. However, inverting that concept is super shitty because instead of steadily bouncing higher to see what's coming, you fall and have no clue what you're gonna land on. Yeah, you can slowly and calculatingly land on the platform below you, but who wants to do that? It's a shitty Beanie Baby game. I don't care enough to strategize. And for God's sake, the music never stops! Hmm, our official Beanie Baby app is almost perfect, but what we really need is some music. Quick, you, sing me a tune! However, maybe I'm being a bit too... generous, thinking that Ty wouldn't make a game like this. Looks like their web designer might also be a relic of the 90s. So speaking of official apps, next up I've got something horrifying. Something that'll haunt your dreams and will truly make your skin crawl. What's that? Me up. It's my Furby. Oh god, kill it with fire! Oh no, it's even worse! So Furbies are apparently back in a big way! They've even got a movie coming out! Because nothing screams box office big bucks like a creepy owl cat that watches you sleep. The modern ones have a bit more function to them, having voice recognition, more movement, and LCD panel eyes that do all kinds of hyperactive nonsense. However, most importantly, what's a toy these days without app connectivity? Take a gander at Furby Connect World! Finally, we can combine the questionable fun of playing with a Furby with the questionable fun of taking care of a Tamagotchi. The app allows you to pair a 2016 Furby Connect toy in order to access a couple different interactions. However, surprisingly, I don't have a 2016 Furby Connect. So I'll just show you the app. First off, you get an egg that you need to crack open. Furbies apparently don't have the strength to hatch themselves and require human intervention. Darwin would be so ashamed. Oh, look at that cute little puffball. What kind of Furby are you? Oh, 
So in this little hub area, you can do a bunch of cool things with your virtual Furbies like force feed them, have them get you shit like eggs that are used as currency for an egg filled gumball machine, no clue how that makes sense, and even take them to a little movie theater. Say hello to the Furby Oh no, it's an ad. I can't even escape these things in polished up corporate games. Furby loves to share kid-friendly videos. I don't know, I think I'd prefer it if Furby showed adult-friendly videos. New surprises come in all shapes and sizes. Wait, is that a toilet? Careful what the fuck? Your Furby. What the fuck? What the fuck? That little girl literally just squeezed the shit out of a Furby! And then diarrhea shat out a car! What the fuck kind of games are kids into these days? It's fine, it's all fine. It's all just a bunch of shallow busy work anyway. It's a great tool for parents who hate their kids to keep them busy for a couple hours. Oh god, it's a Chinese dragon egg. How casually racist is this thing gonna be? Next down the pipeline, we've got the wholesome kids classic, Teletubbies. A show about alien babies with televisions implanted in their stomachs, and another baby that lives in the sun. Well, I guess it's probably not a baby anymore. But what if the show's not doing it for you and you want a more hardcore and visceral Teletubbies experience? Well, you're in luck because today we're looking at Slendy Tubby's fan made demo. Glad they told me it was fan made because for a second I thought this was another official app. Please do not insult and support. Well, now that you said please. So, this piece of crap is a slender ripoff if you couldn't already guess. I assume the story here is that Tinky Winky, the purple one, got fed up with the declining ratings and losing market share to the Wiggles, so he took his rage out on the rest of the Tubby gang. Now you've got to collect eight pieces of tubby custard before he finds you. Spooky. Ah geez, sorry about the wobbliness here, I'm not even moving my thumb. Looks like Lala needs to lay lay off the sauce. So it's just like Slender, the map is a big dark empty space with shitty graphics and you're supposed to go around and find the shit. And I hate Slender. It takes forever to find anything and the environment isn't interesting in the slightest. And where is that fucking guy anyway? Oh. Is he behind me? Ah <coughs> oh shit, sorry the camera, my mistake. <coughs> and that's the shitty thing about these slender game jump scares. It's never a question of where the guy following you is because they're always directly behind you. Always. So the game just becomes trying to find the things without turning around for too long. There's no creepiness in that. That's just trying to avoid an annoying stalker. It's like the adoring fan from Oblivion. It's the grand champion! And speaking of the adoring fan, remember trolls? These ugly ass little doll things that were big in the 90s for whatever reason? And people still like them! Stop it! Stop dressing up as them! They're not cute or fun! They're weird! Trolls even made a movie that grossed a million billion dollars at the box office. A Furby movie? A Trolls movie? Next thing you know, we'll be seeing a big budget Hollywood Jazz Cup movie. But wouldn't you know, the popularity of the movie with kids meant a ton of Trolls games cropped up on the Play Store. Here we have Poppy Troll Shimmer Carpet. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to say Cake Emoji Poppy Troll Shimmer Carpet. A game so great, it bullet points its description with more cakes. Wait a second. So this is Jungle Crash Adventure World, also known as Jungle Crash Trolley Adventure. In Zodi 2, or Sonic Dash 2, or Runner 2, you play as copyright infringement in a runner game akin to Bit Trip Runner or the Impossible Game. Okay, it's the same template runner from my Crash and Sonic episodes, no big deal, I don't have to talk about it. I'll just play something else. How about this one? Troll Battle. What the hell? What, is every troll game like this? I don't know, let's try Troll Rush. Ah, f Troll Race. Ah, Branch Dash. 
troll adventures! Crazy troll in the forest! Troll jungle run! And they even brought jungles back into it! What the fuck is this cookie cutter ass template runner game? It's literally the same levels in every single game! And why trolls of all things? Why would eight different people make the same shitty app about troll dolls? Is it really that popular? Oh my god, I can't escape this game! It's the curse! The curse of Immobile! I'll be playing the same fucking platformer game till the day I die! <sighs> fuck this show! Fuck this game! Fuck trolls! I'm done! The 90s can go to hell!